greetings, and welcome to another commentary of Hyrule Total War. And today I will be showing the Deku tribes, which are composed of various Deku creatures from the Zelda series. I really like Deku scrubs. <laughs> they probably are one of my favorite enemies, and I think it, I thought it would just be kind of cool if they all got together to fight everything else from the Zelda series, so they ended up becoming a playable faction, and they are what I consider a comedic faction. They're, they're basically kind of like a joke faction where they, they treat everything humorously because that's kind of how they were in the series. They're always these hyper evil plant things <laughs> that just kind of made everything seem funnier than it was, but um, yeah. <laughs> On my last commentary, I, I tried something different and I talked a little less. Uh, apparently people didn't like that, so um, this time I'll try to flap my gums a little more. <laughs> I'll go into detail about the, the different units. So, um, yeah. I'll just wait until the battle gets started up. So yeah, really quick, um, the Deku Scrubs obviously are a numbers-based faction. They also have, all their units have the ability to, to fire Deku Seeds, so every single one of their units is ranged, which obviously is a huge advantage. So I'll just go take a look through the units really quickly before I start the fight. Right here are the Forest Scrubs, which are the most common Deku scrub and they are the most commonly encountered ones throughout the series. They are the lowest of the low when it comes to their unit choices. And right here we have the pine scrubs which some members of the Total War forums affectionately called the weed scrubs. Um, they earned their nickname because of their appearance and I will leave it at that. <laughs> Here we have the Yucca Scrubs, which are the long-range, I guess you could say, archer unit. Um, living in California, I'm used to seeing Yucca Scrubs everywhere, so, well, the Yucca plants. And I just had to make a Deku Scrub based off of them. <laughs> so yeah, there's the Yucca Scrubs. And next up we have the Fungi Scrubs, which basically are these these mushroom versions of the Deku scrubs and I'll get them to come out of the ground because they burrow under the ground but yeah that's their method of attack they burrow under the ground and when enemy soldiers happen to step on their heads they pop up and try to kill them <laughs> after them we have the lily scrubs which are these Deku scrubs based off of lily pads they are aquatic, so they can go across rivers and bodies of water and stuff. And they are more so a scout unit than a combat unit because of that ability. And here we have the Royal Scrubs, which are the ones that appeared in Majora's Mask. Unlike most Deku Scrubs, they have little arms, so they are able to carry weapons like spears and stuff. So they are a... Not a spectacular anti-cavalry unit, but they're good against cavalry. And here we have the Magnolia Scrubs, which are these really rare but giant Deku Scrubs that are able to fire. Instead of Deku Seeds, they fire these giant boulders, so they are the official artillery unit for the Deku Scrubs. And the last unit they have are the P-Hats, which are burrowed in the ground here so we'll get a better look at them once the battle starts when they go flying around everywhere but yeah I love p-hats because they're awesome 
And here is the first Deku Scrub Hero, the aptly named Deku King from Majora's Mask. And here we have the Deku Princess, who's also from Majora's Mask. She's right there in the front. And yeah, she has this ability to be completely surrounded by her troops. And if I can get a good look at him, the third Deku hero, um, he goes by the name Voice of Adulwa, and he's basically a, a messenger of Adulwa. He wears the little mask from Majora's Mask. He's basically responsible for the downfall of the princess. But since this is a commentary on battles, I won't really get into the storyline of that. That's for another time. <laughs> so I'll just um, put my units in formation. And I will get ready for the battle. And I think now that I've done the unit details, I think I'll, I'll talk a little less once the battle starts. Since I got music and sound and everything going on, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. <laughs> Alright, so the battle has started. And I can already hear the Dekus getting ready to fire their seeds. <laughs> and I am fighting Laneru Province, which are the Twilight Princess styled Zoras, which were in my last commentary. <laughs> you can see they're all getting hit in the head by Deku seeds. Figures. I'm playing as the, the comedy faction and it's playing the most epic music for them. <laughs> Wonderful timing. Uh, so it looks like Laneru is content to just march right up into my force. So being that I'm a an all-ranged faction, I think I'm just going to sit on this hill and bombard them with Deku Seeds until they come into a melee. Uh, these Magnolia Scrubs should make short work of them. Again, I find it humorous that I'm playing as the Deku Scrubs and it's playing the most epic track in the game. It's so fitting. And it looks like they finally made it into the melee, so I'm gonna send the P-Hats in. And they're just gonna mow through everyone here. Like a garden, like a lawnmower. <laughs> and yes, you do hear the elephant crabs still. those p hats go Deku King is already screwed. Gonna get some... Oh, I already killed their general, I think. 
Um, no, that was my general. <laughs> yeah, I already lost my general. 